Yo, dudes. Um, What's up? We're hanging at the Lafarge Library. I sounded so cool when I said yo, dudes. That's not something that I would normally say, but I sound so cool when you I do, say it. Actually. It's like, uh, it's like, that's my point. It's like, yeah, you can say something cool, and you may or may not be cool, but when you're really cool and you say something cool, well, that's really you, cool. Yeah, I don't know what sort of authority a person can garner for themselves by saying yo dudes, but you just got A lot. It. You just got it. It's well, like, I think it's, uh, there's a certain um, group of people, uh, not just one, but a whole uh, bunch of people who uh, hear yo dudes and whether or not they use it, they're like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I want to hang mm -hmm. around with somebody who talks like that. It sounds like they're about to hear the voice of reason, you know? <laughs> and That's that, funny, but okay, we'll go with it. Uh, well... Uh, I'm serious, I'm going to pretend like I'm the voice of reason. <laughs> well, you're off to the These voice people of are going to be in trouble. <laughs> well, okay, if I wanted to give advice to you guys, you, which I'm loath to do... That's I, not I, really I, your stuff. No, uh, I don't give unsolicited advice because I don't take unsolicited mm. advice. But nowadays, I have been listening to unsolicited advice because I figure if somebody's volunteering that shit, then I probably need to hear it. Right. Well, you have to at least stop and ask yourself, is that good advice? Because yeah, maybe if it's something you hadn't thought of before, it could be. But, but what's funny is, if it's unsolicited advice, I used to think that, hell no, that's not good advice. They don't even know me, and they've right. done this unsolicited. They haven't even respected me. They don't it get is, me at it all. It is pretty rude. It's very rude, and uh, yet yeah, now I kind of like, you know that movie Always? Have you ever seen it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Richard Dreyfuss? Yeah, I have seen it. Where uh -huh. she's like out in the desert, okay. and she she runs into this crazy dude out in the middle of these like boxes and stuff or something. But anyway, like a underground dump type thing or something, and sure. he's talking crazy shit. But she says, but he says exactly what she needed to hear. To fucking survive, man. So. Do you remember what he said? I want to know now. I don't know. I think he was translating situation. Richard Dreyfus from the grave. Oh. I don't want to give it all damn away, but uh, let's just say she needed some inspiration to go on with her life. She'd almost freaking died in that big lake. I'm thinking at this point there's probably nothing <laughs> but an angel saved her. practical that I can directly take from this movie always because uh -huh. what's it sounds the likelihood so of absurd. Richard Dreyfus intervening in the form of an angel being channeled through somebody else in the middle of a desert surrounded by boxes. <laughs> <But> you never <laughs> know. It could happen. But, That's but you don't thing. remember what, the specific thing he what said. it was. That, well, it was basically like, I love so, you, you know, don't worry, you know. I, no, maybe it was something dead, like, but this cactus okay. is the one that has the water in it, you know. No, it wasn't like that. that. It was, she was going to get saved, but because all the people that were her friends were the saved, so was a, savers, uh, the heroes. So she was going to get whoa, saved. Whoa, whoa, which people were? All John people, Goodman. But all the people that, who? You said all the people that she... Was friends with. Oh, okay. Yeah, all of her friends were going to damn save her. Okay. I mean, John Goodman. If John Goodman's your friend, Man, you don't have to worry a anymore. Star you know? Warsian-esque twist if, like, if the ghost of Richard Dreyfus had come to her and said, Yeah. Don't worry. All those people who are your arch enemies. Yeah. That are going to come and save you. Don't sweat it. And That's you'd be cool. Like, what? That's cool shit. That's probably uh, what's going to happen to me, honey. My arch enemies mm. end up saving my ass because they have to. They have to. Once I've gone that far down yeah. out on the fucking limb, all I can do is ask my fucking enemies to catch me when I fucking fall after they fucking cut the branch off. And they do because they're not completely lacking in freaking compassion. If somebody's looking at you saying, please help me, then uh, right. really, come on, are you really going to say no? No, you're not going to do that. I freaking don't fucking care. You're not going to do that. Nobody is going to do right. that. I just can't believe anybody would do that. 
It's always in the fucking movies, but nobody right. actually does it. And that person's pretty villainous in the movies. No, they probably yeah, laugh. because they're, probably they're not real. As they do it, you know. Like of it's, course, it's funny that, that nobody does that shit. Everybody who does anything that even looks like that is just a hurting, suffering individual that's lost in a maze of agony and sorrow and. Well, ugliness, to be mm. honest, but that ugliness is so damn ugly, they don't even know it's ugly. But anyway, uh, again, you know, I'm not one to, to lecture to people. No. <laughs> I, that, I have been That actually told sounded I'm a like preacher. a very compassionate thing for you to say to me. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah, because, you know, it's like, mm. if a person heard that and saw themselves in that yeah sure that would hurt but on the other hand yours is a message of hope it's you know it's like okay uh, yeah. you don't have to be like that all the time or like yeah. the rest of your life or, well all you have to do is catch uh, me when I fall here uh, goes and here's your chance to make uh, a freaking choice and it's easy to catch someone when they're falling that's the thing yeah it might hurt I have actually been hurt by doing that a whole lot of times like I was gonna ask yeah. physically like when somebody falls on you that's painful yeah. like my baby he's fallen on me a whole lot of times and sometimes was, from higher places than <laughs> yeah, and usually often it's repeatedly because it was so much damn fun the first time mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and yeah. it's kind of what well, we're we getting do. good at it that's yeah we're really good at helping it. to do all of her lightning fast reflexes yeah it's after like, somebody yeah. drops a whole shitload of coffee yeah. cups on your head you learn to be my baby's, uh, get fast that. My baby's reflexes. like Spider-Man. My baby has Spider-Man reflexes. I really do, and something's going to happen cool. to prove it on this clip, I bet. But I can't foresee it. All I hope is that I can do it You'll when do I'm it. under fucking pressure, you know? And no, that's, that's the, thing. the thing. I do. Yeah, yeah. That's the point. I, that's when I do yeah. it. It's like when the chips are fucking down, I rise up and I fucking do it. And even though there's this voice. Well, it's usually like when the thing is falling. No, well, man. fuck yeah, you don't have a choice yeah. but to fucking rise up right. if fucking shit's falling on your freaking head. It's yeah. like, you gotta move anyway, so you might as well move up and hold that fucker up and put it back up where it belongs or let it fall to bits and rebuild the... Anyway, it's already fallen bits, so I don't have nothing to lose, you know? We're not at the school today, you guys. We're at the Farge Library. <laughs> My I needed awesome. a break from that place. They are like being not everyone there, but so many of them are totally have their heads up their own butts. And I, I was going to say have their heads in the sand because that's more politically correct, yeah. but it's not correct. They have their heads yeah. up their own butts. Right now, all they can see is their own, I'm not going to use that word, their own colon. You know, it's like, why? Why is that what you want to look at, you know? Uh, because they're scared of what they will see. Okay, is there anything more frightening than a damn colon? To, if right. you're looking at a colon, and I don't mean the grammar, the punctuation right. mark, those are cool. I feel bad for that punctuation mark, really. I like the colon, but I, I don't too. like its name. I think it should be called something else. No, it's a lovely, lovely it's a great <laughs> piece of it's, punctuation. It's very, it's very bold. Now, you do know. you know the more elegant one? The semicolon. Yes, of course, honey. It's the, the semicolon it's, is a little it's, trickier. I it's think. female, yeah. and it's wearing a very whimsical dress yeah. with a nice button top hat. The semicolon. <laughs> yeah. And you guys, who can't resist us? Why would you want to fucking persecute us? We really are wonderful. We have to tell you that because for some reason we do not compute to you people. Right. It's like we've got 11 fans and they are the smartest people in this damn world, but we should have you know, 11,000. We were at that performance at the bookstore. Yeah, and there were 14 we people there total. Film on our on the projector screen. On oh, the you screen. mean at opposite? At opposite. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there were probably 25 our, people going in and out, but only, yeah. well, one, two, three, four, five. 
six I don't know I think we had quite an audience but oh, yeah. only a few people sat down in the chairs everyone else hid and stared at us from a distance except for well we had the film on the screen and it was running upside down and yeah and uh, that didn't really it, well, it seemed unnatural to people. I'll just put it that way. Except for the, the two little kids, there was two little kids that were in the bookstore, and they and that old lady sat down on the chair. She and, was so childlike, and they they just they just they dug it. You know, they were cool. they totally dug it. They didn't uh, question. They didn't say, uh, "Oh, you're," uh, <laughs> and that has that has something. Your to do video's with upside down. No, something. that was the adults. Even Jeff, I have to remind you that Jeff said that. But th when Jeff did it, I think it was more like, are you for real? Are you really going to go, like, make that decision? And maybe that's what everybody was asking in that deal. But what I'm wondering, though, is, like, he seemed to be more asking a question, like, why are you, why is it upside down? Like, what in the hell are you guys doing? Right. And our answer was like, yeah, we know. And that was the answer. We know what we're doing. We're doing it intentionally. Now you guys can question your freaking reality. And I know, I know it's a small thing, but a small thing can make you ask the most questions. Because it's kind of like, easier. You know, and it connects to everything. So when you face that easy one, that little one, you break down all the big ones more. Break down all the big ones, or you see a different way after that to everything you look at. Oh, here I am, it's like that fool in always that's what i was saying he was a fool you know like was he the one that they found out in the desert or? yeah but they left him out there of course um he was not to go along he wasn't he was like a orpheus or a whatever you i say. mean an oracle an oracle <laughs> whatever you say orpheus but you don't say it that often i don't <laughs> think i've ever say, said it in my life <laughs> whatever you say orpheus i think of morpheus from the metrics oh that's who i was metrics. thinking of morpheus uh, that was how you could make the metric system hit you make a movie called The Matrix. It's like The Matrix, <laughs> but it's all about math. Oh, and that I'd probably me. like it, maybe a that's, little bit. It'd when be you were easier. Saying, Why don't they love us? That's what I was thinking of. Is yeah. that little kids love us yes. because we find ways of talking about freaking semicolons and making it fun. Uh, we yeah. See, it's very imaginative. It's, it's very childlike. It so is childlike says, because we're damn children. When my baby says, like, why protest us or, you know, why boycott us? It's like us? boycotting children. Things, you know? And people who do that are evil. We're just having little, little childish <laughs> fun, you know. Reveries. Yeah, Reveries. Yeah, we go. live in a reverie, yeah. honey. A fantastical reverie. And they're mad at us for it because we can... We're not escaping reality, we're transforming it. And why not, if you're going to transform your world, have dinosaurs running through and and animated uh, semicolons. You know what? I don't like animated movies. I'm going to be out with it. I don't like them. I don't like animated anything. What? No. don't like them. You don't like them either? Well, no, I like some of them. Oh, you do? But... When you said that, I thought of, I couldn't help it, I thought of Dana Carvey yeah. doing his impression of, yeah. of George Bush. George not, W. No, the, yeah. no, the original George Bush, the first one. I meant the original, I'm sorry, the jo George George. When I was doing, I felt like a mix-up of that with, like, if you're in a gospel church and there's somebody in the background going, Amen! Hallelujah! Yeah, when, when right. You're talking, I like, like it. Say, Go. Cool, like the yeah. uh, chorus or the um, call and response. Yeah. Right. Hell well, yeah. Uh, totally. Yeah, it would be the choir. That's thing, what you and I are. Well, we're the I, call and response. We're the chorus. We're the freaking show and the fucking call and response. But you were, we're saying. All of it. So really, I was supporting you and saying that you don't like animation. No, sir. Don't like it. But. Even though I, I, no. I actually do like animation. Oh, I, I thought like you did, it. and yeah. that's very strange to me because right. I don't like it. Right. Now, why don't I like it? I guess I don't like that much damn artifice. I want less artifice in a... I want more realism, naturalism. I'm more into that. But I love the absurd because that's fucking straight-up naturalism. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is... Uh, 
<laughs> I can't remember, honey. Um, I've been having that problem a lot myself. I was telling my baby, I can't remember. Our brains have been freaking things. fried lately. I can't, I can't remember things. Well, I don't know. I can't remember either. I know I need to pee really bad, but I want these guys uh, to get their wisdom from me first. Uh, my baby want, My baby has to pee really bad. It was and the we, Orpheus. We, I was thinking uh, it sounded like Orifice. I got it. And that's really gross. Track. I'm sorry, but it does sound like that Orpheus, Do you Morpheus, why Orifice. You were that in the first place. I don't <laughs> even. <laughs> Oh, Orpheus and uh, Oracle. I was trying to mix uh. Morpheus and Oracle together and came up with Orpheus. <laughs> and if it didn't have such a connection to Orifice, I would <coughs> think it was a lovely name. But uh, right. I don't want a, a name that sounds like that. You know, it's like... Anyway, <laughs> that's not uh, the was, point, though. Well, do you remember why you were thinking of Oracle? Oh, the, the Oracle, that the dude was an Oracle. He couldn't get on the fucking plane and fly back with him. Oracles are there to, like, speak out, speak the truth, and uh, then dis a fucking peer because nobody can live with that. Nobody can, like, always be around that all the time. Now, is this weird, baby? You were thinking of Oracle. Yeah. You came up with Orpheus. And I thought of Morpheus. Yeah. When there's an oracle in the same movie that Morpheus is in. Yeah, I know. And what does she do? She's what you were just talking about. You know, it's all. How did that little weird thing get all in? Because that's what I, int I, I intentionally did. I, I, I was going for Morpheus and Oracle at the same time and got. Orpheus. I well, was thinking it's about weird. that movie. There's something really weird about that, baby. <laughs> it's tripping me out. I've got to pee, but I'm not going to wet my pants this time. I refuse. I'm holding my bladder a lot lately. I need to exercise it because this problem isn't going away. I'm laughing more and more all the time, and I can't wet my pants at school. Uh, okay. I've done it many well, days, kind of many this a is time, but terrible, I don't want terrible, to. Terrible thought, but we're here because I've got to write a paper for one thing. Yeah. Uh, but before I, we even write the paper, September I want to leave 2015, again. September 5th, 2015, my daughter's birthday. Get a fucking McDonald's drink. Uh, you want to go get a McDonald's? Well, and, we can leave this on and, while we uh, do that. I can and, pee there. And baby, a pack of cigarettes. We're out of... Yeah, wait. Out of, that's got tobacco okay. up, but no Let's papers. do that. It'll come out of the gas budget. Uh, I don't mind. Okay. I, I told you yeah, I'm going to buy not, you a shitload of those. We're not and stressing I didn't do today. It. My uh, baby's been like trying to reel me in a little bit because I've been all buggered up about stupid financial stuff and I hate that stuff. And we did so. a bit, bit, a bit. <laughs> oh god. Did you? Oh yeah, what is wrong with me? I'm so happy. But these guys don't want to believe I'm happy because if they did they'd know I was telling the truth. But they already do know, so. But anyway, I am happy, but I gotta tell you guys I thought for this one. I fought for every one of them. God, you wouldn't believe it. every time I be on Facebook have this horrible battle and then nobody would be around to help me. All my friends disappeared, you know. A few times they appeared, but it felt like nobody would ever helped me, you know. Although that's probably underestimating what actually happened, but I would be like all out there fighting all alone, but then whenever I'd win the battle, they'd all come and give me a high five afterwards, honey. It is uh, like that saying, when you cry, when you laugh, the world laughs with you, uh, when you cry, you cry alone. No shit, because if you're crying, you are alone, even if there's somebody sitting there crying with you. It does make it easier, I'll admit that, but, mm. but you're still fucking alone, otherwise you wouldn't be fucking crying, you know? But, like for me, I always have my baby there with mm. me to, to cry with me. But you still feel like you're crying alone. I'll mm. acknowledge that because contrary to reality as it is and how stupid that is, it feels real, you know? And there's something to be said about experiencing it, though. It does build character and make you stronger, but I can see why you'd want to kick somebody's ass over that shit. But... It's not real if you do, because they're sitting there crying with you. And that's a shame to kick their ass if they're doing that already for you. 
But I acknowledge too that it's very, very <laughs> difficult. It's like, what the fuck? They don't feel like they're there. So they, are they really? Like, it's very hard to compete. It's very hard to tell the difference between reality and your mind. But one of them is your mind and one of them is reality. And your mind is stupid. <laughs> stupid it may be as stupid does, but stupid mm. is also the way somebody fucking thinks. Oh, I was reading this really interesting <laughs> thing, honey. Yeah. I got a free deal from the library. What kind of deal? A book. Oh. You got a book, too. No way. Did you get a book? I don't know. How do I know? Well, you would have picked it up. <laughs> Did you? No. Oh, I thought you picked up a book. I didn't get a book. I from didn't... that free books thing? Oh, those. I got two books from that. Oh. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be wetting my pants. Okay. I see my bladder's getting a workout today. That's what I meant. Meant. Okay. You got a, you got a excited just now. Yeah. You got a, a deal oh, from I got the a library. deal from the library that talks uh, about oh, testing the I didn't, intellect, I thought that IQ was, tests. I thought that was the whole thing. But I didn't know there was more to them. You just got a deal with the library and you were very excited. About <laughs> it. But it's more than it's, that. It's it applies what the, to what we're what talking the about. Thing is. Yeah. So, okay. We're talking about it in this moment is my point. It's like that. Okay. It came up. I picked that thing right. up. I went to the bathroom. Right. And I read it. Not the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I read a page uh -huh. while I was peeing. Okay. And I read about the IQ tests and how they're biased against certain people. And I've always known that. Hell yeah. When I was a kid, they gave me they didn't even tell me I was taking... Well, okay. The truth is, I don't know whether or not they ever gave me an IQ test. But if they did, and I suspect they did, they didn't even tell me they were. And they tested me. I think... I pro, I, I'm pretty sure I got a low IQ. A low score on that test. Because they always treated me like I was so dumb. But could that have been because I was a... I got high scores. Why would they do that? I don't get it, but Maybe they would maybe they were like, oh, we got to tell her she's dumb because she's so damn smart or something Wow, huh? that's an intriguing question Hmm Because <sighs> But I do think the they test, did it. I do think they gave me those damn tests, but I'm it, not sure I can't I say mean, for sure Mutton is just my gut tells me that you do